morning so let's have some fun i'm up late just about to go to sleep talking about morning let's have some fun with suzanne warchowski's first video making a reaction video on it and the funniest thing in here the number one thing that my channel repeatedly so many it's mind-boggling have been deleted for is because Somebody, I, the story is always the same. Somebody comes and bullies me. They leave the most horrendous fucked up shit that could ever fucking be done. Then I make a video on the person's comment. I get the strike every single time for bullying. Then I never get a chance to appeal. Not one time has YouTube ever given me any chance to appeal, replied to anything. But they're recommendations are hey if somebody comes over and makes a really really fucked up comment you should make a video on it because you'll make a lot of money on youtube yeah youtube is just one big contradiction that youtube could never talk its way out of that's why it's really fun to make these videos for about my court case with youtube so let's check out youtube's propaganda itself that it somehow calls entertainment the video is about teaching suzanne warchowski see suzanne warchowski the ceo of a multi-billion dollar company while she is worth 410 million dollars herself she she doesn't really understand youtube or how it works she just understands billion dollar companies and you know hey hey the kids are in, I'm I'm stupid Susan and the kids are in control of the of the whole thing and I'm going to need the advice of the kids not not business people not people that actually know things about things and have an education in things we're going to look to the brand new green little children that don't even know what creativity is no skill no talent no well, let's look to them for her for the advice of how to run a multi-billion dollar company that is breaking laws left and right robbing people of rights left and right and here's what the, this is the propaganda that youtube covers it all up with So pretty much if you kiss Susan's ass, then it's all good. If you make it look like the communist utopia YouTube really wants to be, they'll make you a fucking millionaire. And here's the little kid right here. About right here in the video, the little kid says, Hey, and if people leave you, leave you some shitty comments, here's a great idea. Make a video on it. You'll make all kinds of, oh, you'll make so much money on YouTube, the people in society, they, they, they won't even understand it. It'll be so much money, they won't even believe that it's even possible to make money off of just reading somebody's shitty-ass comment. But if you're Mac, your videos are deleted. Your channels are deleted so many times, so many laws are broken against you as it's the advice for Suzanne Warchowski. Oh, the, the fucking, the um, whole thing of YouTube and its hypocrite law. Let, let's have fun with YouTube's hypocrite law and bust it wide the fuck open. Watch. Watch. Hold on, wait a sec, let me YouTube it. Wojcicki. Wojcicki. Hi, Hi Susan Wojcicki. I'm just starting my own YouTube channel. And I'm at a... Hey. I'm, I'm only supposed to be running the billion dollar company. I'm worth $410 million myself. I, how did I get there? Did I get there by asking little children that have no experience in anything whatsoever? That that's how I that's how I got my four hundred and ten fucking million dollars and my four my billion dollar company. Oh yeah, I, I got from point A to point B without it, could it be that you're selling us communism? <laughs> Just put some North Korean propaganda right up next to it. You won't be able to tell the difference. Is it recording? Is it filming? Okay, uh, hi, Susan. 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 Hi, Susan
Susan. Uh, welcome to YouTube. Am I getting, am I getting paid for this? No, I'm not getting paid. Okay. Uh, where are we going to get the big celebrities so it somehow gives it clout and shit? Please enjoy. Hey, Susan, I just heard you're going to be starting your own YouTube channel. That is very exciting. Congratulations on starting your channel. So, so what? Oh, we got The Rock. We got the, hey, The Rock's in it. The collective have kicked in. You better not say anything about the fucking propaganda house that YouTube is and the face that they want to put on YouTube is. What is this face? The CEO doesn't know how to run the company and needs to ask junior high kids? Well, they're not even out of school yet and don't know anything. Then you're on a platform of talent, creativity, and skill. How, oh, how are we going to get rid of that and replace it with absolutely nothing? Let's see how this one works. Biz, just be you. Just be authentic. I mean, you have no choice but to be just like, excuse my language. But... So just be you. Just be authentic is the advice from the actor who reads his scripts, who is never talking off the fucking cuff. Right, right here, he is not talking off. So his advice to you, who he, he knows what creativity is. He knows what talent is. He knows how to make it go and go and go. And he knows what is dead end. He already knows advice telling you, hey, hey, why don't you wake up in the morning? Turn on your fucking webcam, you dummy. Then just be yourself. He already knows that's a dead end. It's pretty much this dude laughing at you because you don't know about creativity, talent, fucking skill, what's worth something, what's not worth something, what can fucking keep on going forever, what has a dead end. This dude is fully educated in every last bit of that, but he knows that everything's been turned over to the kids that don't know anything, and they just think that nobody could ever fucking have this high wisdom of what creativity is, what fucking talent is, what skill is, and all that shit, so pretty much this dude's just laughing in every single fucking person's face while they, they would never fucking get it, giving somebody advice of, hey, hey, just be yourself, that, that's spiritual teachings, if you want to go into spiritual teachings, but if you want to talk about how to make entertainment, that's a fucking whole different fucking thing. Like, cool. See, I did that. I didn't even, like, on the thing. Yeah, I didn't, never mind. Anyway, just be cool. Welcome to YouTube. You want to make I, I would wonder if this video is somehow censored now, but it's on Susan's channel, so it's not. Yes, he didn't say fuck there. But there is plenty of videos that I have that every single one of them is fucking demonetized. There's just me playing some Dark Souls. There's no, there's no words in it. It's um, video games where other people are making fucking 10,000 fucking dollars a day off of the same shit. My just little fucking clips that get no views also get demonetized. So I, that's why I would... Well, you know, he, did, he didn't say fuck, but he kind of mouthed it and all of that. Well, YouTube's guidelines, do they know what the difference between wrong and right is? All of their new rules and all this shit. If they had to explain it, we would get into some real deep shit that humanity doesn't know anything and lives in the trees of good and evil. Absolute fucking confusion. Practice, practice, practice. That's what it's... Yeah, is that the only part that we're going to get of like, hey, it actually takes creativity, skill, and practice, something that YouTube does not allow because you have to pump out videos one the fuck after another. But see, it's a good thing right here. See how we fell down at the end? It just shows, oh, it's so stupid. Oh, it was like a prank and shit. Oh, no, see, forget that shit I was talking about, or skill and all that. I did a jackass move in the Yalta Bay off reality. Oh, well, fuck. Uh, that gives us that's all we ever fucking needed and shit. Dumb it, dumb it the fuck down. That's what it's all about. Whoa, dude. Videos come to life on set. Great styling and cool props always help. Um, you're talking about real actors. 
you would be talking about real production companies, people that have thousands of people, thousands of educated people, people that have done it every single fucking day for years and years and years and years and went to fucking school for it and blah, 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 and they know exactly what to fucking do to make a fucking high-quality motherfucking movie for us to watch. Then you motherfuckers take the, this YouTube shit and try to make it out like, oh yeah, some dumbass with his iPhone camera, Markiplier with his where is Markiplier skits, or somehow, can somehow step up to the high quality value that humanity has demanded. We have taken one big fucking step backwards by giving everybody every fucking thing. Now we destroyed the real crafts of everybody, then we pretend that, that those crafts just didn't exist, and no one had any wisdom in them. There was no real movie production companies and people that knew how to run camera, people that actually knew how to fucking do audio, people that built sets, the fucking list. There was never anybody that knew how to do that, and we're revolution. We're roof. They do it because they ask little children. <laughs> That's the thing. How about if they ask some professionals and shit instead of going to little itty bitty kids in junior high school and saying, little kids that don't know anything, you don't even know that people have wisdom in the world. I, I got a question for you. How should we run YouTube? Once again, they're showing productions that nobody nobody at YouTube would ever do because it would cost too much money. See, out in the real world where people do make music, people do make movies, money is the last fucking thing that's worried about. You, I couldn't imagine these YouTube kids getting checks a fucking million, two million dollars a year. These greedy little kids that have no idea the way the world works. Are they just going to start throwing their money around? Because money means nothing. It's about what you make. How nice is it? And all that kind of shit. Dude, no, the little kids today are, are all little money grubbers. They're not going to pass that around and make the world an awesome place actually giving us some high quality entertainment. No, they're going to go buy cars and houses and YouTube will just throw more money and more money and they'll never actually achieve anything of the professional music business. They'll never achieve anything of the professional music movie fucking business. Why, why are we being shown this communist fucking utopia shit? Never give up and never stop trying. <laughs> never give up and never stop trying. That, no, that's not the way it works. You go, go take a flat earth video. Here's the way it works. Go grab a flat earth video that has been uploaded like 10 or 20 fucking times. What the fuck ever. Been uploaded a billion times over. Uh, open some fucking random dumb shit channel. Upload your flat earth channel. Your flat earth video that's been fucking, you didn't make it. That's the, that's the important part with cons, fucking conspiracy shit and all that. Make sure you didn't put any time and effort into that. What so fucking ever. Then find one that's uploaded a gazillion times. Make your flat earth channel. Upload the bitch on there and fucking monetize. Then watch how you make about six fucking grand a month off of absolute fucking nothing while all of your real shit makes two and three fucking dollars. So this whole thing of, well, just try and try again. No, no, you have to learn how to fucking scam if you want to make it anywhere in YouTube. The scam artists and the thieves own this shit. And everybody just absolutely demands the fucking bullshit that they sell. The editing process is the most important. When in doubt, cut it out. Right, the editing process is the most... How about, how about the content part? How about we actually knowing what creativity is? We actually knowing what skill is? We actually knowing what kind of talent has the ability to keep on going and keep on going and the uh, the talent that's not real talent the talent that just stops we'll, we'll figure out that no none of you 
We'll figure out most of the musicians on YouTube don't know what improvising is because that's real creativity. That's real talent in any situation. And it'll be the same as old Levi Clay over there still thinking that improvising is hitting a note that doesn't exist. We're going to play guitar. We're going to talk about improvising then say improvising doesn't exist because we don't have the skill. We don't have the knowledge to understand nothing new under the sun and how to make something brand new in what already exists. Is this the kind of shit that YouTube kids fucking know, but they want to talk about editing? They, if you want to talk about editing and content and shit, let's talk about the most important thing of all, the content. The editing, if your content's good enough, you don't need all these fucking toys and all this fucking bullshit. It's icing on the fucking cake is what it is. Oh, here's here's the part where this little kid. I should turn it up, but hopefully everybody can hear it. This little kid's gonna say, "Oh, hey!" And if some people leave you a shitty fucking comment, make a video. Make a video on the shitty comment. It'll be awesome. People will love it. You'll make so much fucking YouTube money off of doing absolutely fucking nothing. Well, little kid. Your advice you're giving to Suzanne, the CEO of YouTube, has gotten my fucking channels deleted more times than I can count the fucking channels. It's fucking sad that when I have to tell this story, the people on my channel have heard it so many times. They must just, they they just tune out mentally. Oh, fuck. Max talking about it again. Somebody comes and leaves, and, and somehow they blame me. You know, somebody came by and left him a shitty comment again. Then he made a video on it. Then that person complained about it. Then Mac got a strike once again. And most of the time, I just get my channels deleted. Thank you, Suzanne, for stripping me of all of my rights. While the head YouTubers and shit, they can break whatever the fuck law they fucking want. You never have responded to anything of mine in seven years of doing this to me. How many crimes have you committed against me, YouTube, while this little shit right here gives you advice of how you've destroyed my life over the last seven years? Explain this to me, Susan. Hey, don't worry about the negative comments. Yeah, because um, YouTube's an absolute shithole full of little Nazi fucking scumbag kids. And besides, reading mean comment videos make for great content. Uh, it's great. Uh, I didn't even remember that from last time. And I, and I can't um, go back to it because we might spin out. The kids said it makes for great content. That's content? That's not content. That's showing humanity how fucked up humanity is. <laughs> but humanity doesn't see that way. On on one side of it, as the owner of the channel, you just look at it as another way to make money. It's just another way to make a video because we don't have any creativity, skill, or anything. Then you, then you all go and you just love the witch hunt. But when I make a video like that, it ends up hurting everybody's ego. Then everybody runs out and claims they got bullied from my video where I sincerely got bullied and I'm asking for help. <laughs> yeah, uh, this is real fucking cool the way that this shit works. Ah, okay. This guy's got some expert advice. If you got a puppy, a pet, what the fuck ever, shove it in the video. You'll get tons of views because you have no creativity, no skill, no talent. You don't know how to make a video. You don't know fucking what. You fucking scramble and fucking pick at your ass to do what creative people can just fucking do every second of the fucking day. But how are we going to run this communist utopia that gets rid of all creativity and replaces it with mediocre? Shit? Well, our advice is now, hey, get some stupid dog or some stupid fucking something and just put it in the dumb video so the stupid idiots watching it will pay you money. You'll get a lot of money for that. Well, I remember when people actually, we, humanity used to demand, you know, quality shit. It's even on TV now. It, it, it used to be better as in like, 
American Idol. You know, those kind of TV shows, those are a great example. Well, there's where humanity begs absolutely the best. Humanity demands, oh, this shit better be the best. What's the best of the best? W what's going on here? Here is we get rid of all creativity, all talent, all skill. We hate the creative and talented people because they shine a light on us. They shine a light on how we don't have any of that. So what did we do to replace them, the actual creative people? Oh, put a stupid pet in your video. It'll make the idiots fucking chuckle like dumb monkeys. You'll get lots of views if you put your cat in there. Don't bother making content about yourself. Just no. film the dog. Yeah, ah, don't, video, don't bother making videos about yourself or any. Just film the dog. That's it. That's what humanity is reduced to. Dumber than the, than the movie Idiocracy. Oh, that must have been a joke because YouTube has destroyed all comedy and now everybody on YouTube claims to be a comedian. I'm sure this guy claims that he's a professional comedian. So what we just got to hear, some joke about a centipede or something I didn't even understand. I, I guarantee you that is the absolute best that humanity has to offer. You can stop the craze. Don't be what other people want you to be. Be yourself and follow your dreams. My advice is... Yo, 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 yo. Hey. Hey. Dude, be yourself. Hey. Be yourself. Don't be following no one else. I have to go back for this kid. Look at the body language. Be yourself. Look at, the, look at the fucking body language on this kid telling us to be ourselves. The, the little kid is going to tell the spiritual teacher to, hey, be yourself. Oh, oh okay. Th yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks, little kid. She could stop the craze. Don't be what other people want you to be. Be yourself and follow your dreams. My advice is... Ah, yo, yo, yo. Consistency always comes out on the same day at the same time. Keep an eye on the comments. Ah, consistency. Consistency of what? None of you people have content. It's not content. You actually have to have something to offer. Some entertainment. Some fucking... What are you good at? What can you do? What is it? You, you have none. It, so, with the content that nobody fucking has, you just better make sure it releases at the proper fucking time. Must be consistent with those up. That's the key. That's the key to it all. Our piece of advice is that you should always look like you're holding a camera when you're making videos, but don't actually hold the camera because it can make your arm tired. Oh, I'm Rhett and Link, you're so fucking funny with your dead end shit that's not going to last very long. Oh, you're so fucking funny with it. I hope you made enough money. The millions and millions of dollars you made off of nothing. So. Congratulations and all the best. Welcome. I mean, really, I would love to make a whole video on Rhett and Link's show. On their um, their whole team and shit. The person that's supposed to be a producer and the person that's supposed to be a writer. I, I, I'd love to make a video on how it's the most, it's the lowest. It's the lowest production value. It's the lowest in the challenges that they have to do. They don't even try them. I, I'm already going into the video. They present a shit that they don't even know if it's going to work or not. Not in a sense of, oh, it's more fun if it if it works wrong and stuff in, in a Johnny Carson type sense. No, no, no. This is in a way of where the production team doesn't know, the writers don't know. So when something goes wrong, it comes to a screeching halt of misery then you're on camera trying to figure out oh how do I how do I pick up the shit oh you actually get a real fucking writer you actually get a real production team you actually get people that really know how to do shit so when you do your experiments and your taste challenges and oh who can eat the hottest pepper people have already tried this first and have seen it and seen the effects and have seen this and you know we're gonna do this test and you hold up this flashcard and this and then you figure out that there's some contradiction and your, your little game that you tried to make it doesn't work because it's not logical um do you figure that out right in the middle of the show you figure it out right in the middle of the show because your staff is fucking incompetent yeah. good luck susan yeah yeah good luck with everything susan Un beso de parte mía. have a fun time on youtube much love
much success and much luck. And uh, hey, hey, much love and much success. Yes, and be yourself. Hey, uh, that's going to be the advice from every single person. We better not tell them what that really means. From a real fucking spiritual teacher, every single last fucking fake piece of you will be torn down. There will not be one stone left upon another. Then I'll laugh in your face about talk. Hey, be yourself. You never knew what that fucking meant until somebody came and fucking completely destroyed your fucking kingdom and rebuilt you in something brand new. It was just worse that you just spit off all the fucking time. I'm going to be making videos All right, right Susan. All right, you're worth $410 million from a wealthy family in charge of a billion-dollar company, and the strategy is a Nazi one. Well, ask little kids that could never possibly know anything while the little kids they just don't know that people have wisdom in business they don't know that there has ever been audio fucking companies and production companies and the the list goes on and no 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 we'll ask them that and that's the way we'll form this youtube communist shit we'll get rid of every last person that has any real creativity just like this just check back to my channel till my next video. Hi, Susan. Oh, so now we get the the extra. This is the this video has extras. Is this video content? We didn't learn anything. What we did is get the standard fucking communist fucking propaganda video where I can take any North Korean propaganda and put it side by side and wow, how, well, wow, it looks identical. It must be identical. Oh. Hey. hey, President Obama. Yeah, yes, yes, the CEO of YouTube. All right, bye. So, so they cut it together. Look at this style of propaganda. They cut, they cut it together so that he's saying President Obama on the phone, then CEO, just so it's in the same breath, just so that the mind fuck that's going on alludes us to Suzanne is God of everything. We better bow down to Suzanne and never ask her about the question, and never ask her questions about the multitude of crimes that are committed on YouTube as YouTube celebrates all all of them. If you say anything about the crimes, well, your channels will be deleted just as all of mine have. Uh, yeah, he's a fan too, just like I am. Why are we giving advice? We can't even keep the camera. Focused. Yeah, that's the that's the take, right? Why are we giving advice? Let's uh, let's show the paradox of asking little kids that are uneducated and everything. Let's uh, let's show the real paradox in the communist strategy that that's always been through all time. When Hitler did it, they called it the Hitler Youth. <laughs> Just standard communist shit done around the fucking world. When the Jesuits do it, they say, give me your child for seven years, and after that, I'll have him turned into one of these. So there's my video on, my reaction video. Since there's so many made, you know, I'm sure mine will be singled out because I bring up real shit, real topics, the real shit of it that Susan's video is designed to hide.